Yeah, I got so many projects going on, YouTube friends. Um, you know that that's this is not the mounting from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Well, that's just a cover over on the saw, but it looks like that, don't it? If I got so much going on, I gotta sit down and think. This is a nice day out today. I gotta sit and think about all the stuff going on. This looks like a good spot. Yeah, just have a seat. And, uh, oh yeah, this is good here. This is, um, Mountain Dew Throwback. Real sugar, real good. Uh, it's good stuff. Got all the sugar and all the caffeine. So, um, <clears throat> uh, that's really good stuff. Just like old days. But, uh, well, let me show you what's going on. Yeah, we, we got a fantastic tile guy. And I was thinking, you know, as long as we're going to do the upstairs bathroom, might as well do the downstairs bathroom here. So he's been working on it, demolishing it. That's, that's where my outside seat uh, toilet came from. See, it's, there it is outside. And the, and the pedestal sink. I took that, I took that pedestal sink apart took it outside and the plumber gave me a hand with that and took the toilet out and th that's where the tank was so I gotta get some paint to match the wall but um, the tile guy's been really good doing the deconstruction on here got all the Dura rock up and he's gonna fix this like really nice we're gonna put like this kind of marble in here but we got the marble real cheap yeah this is the marble we're gonna use and it was cheap, like at uh, one of those big box stores. It was, uh, I think it was $4 a square foot, which I don't think that was bad for marble. So we're going to have the tile guy put that in on a diagonal in here. It's going to be on a diagonal. And I think that's going to look, look pretty good in there. Because these walls are kind of like a flamingo kind of color, so it's kind of, kind of, kind of ref reflect off of that. So basically, I got like a hodgepodge of videos I got to show everybody, and I gotta like splice them together and all that stuff, because I gotta show the progress of what's going on upstairs. So uh, I know. I, I, let me let me let me, let me know if this stuff looks good out here, because. Sometimes I think like an outdoor toilet could be like a good idea. Got a toilet and a sink. We got like an angel there. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of actually nice having, so you don't have to go inside. And, you know, it's like on this wood here, but maybe just kind of dig a hole underneath there and we can have one out here. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the neighbors wouldn't, wouldn't even notice or anything, you know? So, anyway, I'm going to take a rest, then I'm going to splice everything together, and uh, I'll show you what we got. <laughs> you know, Willie, I, I blinked and you got half the Dura Rock in already. I, I blinked and you got half the Dura Rock in, it's pretty amazing. So the Dura, the Dura Rock Elves. Santa's workshop. Using a mortar, mortar bed to put the Dura Rock on, huh? Well, that's what happens. And then I, and then I screw it down. So wow. I just, so I just pull. That way I know it's a part of the floor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Freaking fantastic.
All right, so all the all the dirt rock is in place down here, and the um, Willie is going to be back Monday to, uh, to start the tiling, well, tiling it with uh, that marble stuff I showed. So uh, he did a really great job. Hey, uh, YouTube compadres, since there isn't like uh, any construction guys here yet. Uh, I'm going to start working on my little project, which is for the doors. See, I ordered doors for this um, um, whirlpool bath um, thing so you could get underneath it. So I got some doors from uh, Wellborn. They're in Alabama, and they match pretty good to this original stuff that's been here for 30 years. So for about 245 bucks, I got um, three uh, pre-finished doors with hinges to go in here. I got the biggest size I could get, which was 18 and a half up and down by 21 this way. And uh, let me show you what I'm going to do here. Basically, I got some of this uh, red oak in about... Well, it's about eight foot long strips here and I'm going to cut the different sizes here to go upstairs kind of make like a like a, a front it's going to look like a cabinet but it's not really a cabinet it's just going to be like the front of a cabinet I'm going to nail those into the the two by fours in the front and like um, here's the first piece here I'm just going to cut this got it measured exactly right 69 and a half and I'm going to use this uh, power miter saw to just make the cuts you know and uh, put the thing together and see what happens but I ordered I ordered the door so the door is think I'll be in for like three weeks all right let's see if it fits uh, let's get it in here let's see yeah it's gonna fit like a glove and got the dura rock in here i'm just going to put it right in nail it in and then the tile is going to come up about another a little over a quarter inch because of the thin set so the tile is going to come up to here and they could just we really could just put the tile like up to there and this sticks out about half inch here so that's good so the door is going to be like closing about there which is good. So now I have to make the pieces that go in between here. And then I got a piece to go on top, you know? And then the, the marble comes underneath here. So, uh, I don't know. Wish me luck. Everything's going good so far. One cut. I've got some sweat on it. Because humidity is like really high. Oh yeah, before I forget, I want to just say a tip like... I got maybe three feet of that left over. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I might on something else or something. I don't know. But if you wanted to bring this stuff back to the store, just to, uh, like, they sell this. This was like, I think, $1.77 a linear foot. But you could bring this stuff you don't use back, believe it or not. So when you bring it back, just make sure the sticker is on, like, the wood. Like, you don't use... The sticker part don't use the sticker part for your project so don't throw the sticker away just leave it on the wood then you can bring it back to the store and they give you credit for the amount of linear feet you didn't use which is pretty cool huh yeah i measured um the up and down pieces the vertical pieces um subtracting uh two and a half inches for the top piece over there because that top piece is going to be like two and a half inches thick or wide I guess I got it hooked here then I use the uh, the grill uh, ledge there to support the wood so uh, I got it I measured it and it's it was like a sixteenth of an inch below 16 inches which is pretty easy to remember so that's so I got I got cut four of these and hopefully I got enough wood for that if I don't I gotta buy another piece yeah I just gotta make sure it fits 
before I cut any more. So uh, I did measure twice. See, that's going to go up to that two and a half inch line where that little mark is. And then it's going to butt against the bottom of that. So I think that it's going to look pretty decent. Let's kind of sand that a little bit, a little, a little rougher. I cut it. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, what I did was I got another um, one by three, which is really like uh, three quarter by two and a half. Because I measured wrong upstairs. I'll show you in a second when I go back up there. But I'm cutting this. And one side of the wood was better than the other side with the grain. It's had like too much grain in it. So I turned it over that way. And this side had the label. And you could see where the label was. I'm, I'm afraid that that glue kind of soaked in a little bit. So I just cut the end off. Because I don't want to stain over there and have the label stain. So I just cut like uh, two inches off the end there. So I'm going to cut two, two more 69 and a half inch pieces and I'll show you what how I messed up upstairs, but it's not a big deal. I'll just take the wood back that I'm not using. This is where I messed up initially. I measured two and a half inches from there to there. And I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was thinking there was a marble a granite piece going here to here too. So the granite's just going on top of that. So I really had to measure from here to here two and a half which is which is fine because originally I had a one and a half board here I wanted to originally use one and a half because it would come up about a half inch give you a little more room to uh, access the motors under the tub but it just comes up another inch it'll be fine it'll be plenty of room to open these doors to uh, to get in there so no big deal. I could just bring the other wood back and give me some kind of credit. And it's about 10 bucks, so I guess it's not too bad. Doing it myself. Never done it before. So let's see what's going on here. Got to finish the rest of it here. Put it together. Yeah, it turns out this piece is slightly warped, which I should have checked it closer at uh, the Home Depot. But you think for buck 77 linear foot you think it would be kind of straight but it just means I got to step on it when I kind of nail it in yeah I got these bright finish 4d one and a half inch nails and uh, I got them so I could countersink them use a nail set uh, these uh, these aren't stainless I wanted to get stainless but um, they didn't have them there so I figure that um, you know it's probably good enough it's it's for a tub but we're not going to be splashing water all over a place like uh, like kids or anything so that eh, should be okay I guess you know it says you use it for a uh, trim and cabinets and things like that so uh, it said for outdoor use use the stainless steel ones but you know it's not really outdoor so should be okay. Yeah, after stepping on the wood and nailing it, I use the countersink tool here to countersink the uh, finish nail in there. So should look should look like pretty good, I think. But this this wood being slightly warped here, yeah, even after I stepped on it, it's not too bad because the tile is going to go here. You know, so it's going to cover any warpage. Not a big deal there, but the problem is when it, with the other piece I cut, like this piece here, it's going to be um, slightly too high. So I have to shave a little bit off of here. Yeah, I just want to say that these uh, these nails kind of suck. They um, if you don't hit them exactly perpendicular, they, they bend because this hardwood is pretty hard so I might be using the wrong nails but they seem uh, skinny enough where they should go into the wood pretty good and um, just this hardwood is so re so ridiculously hard using 4D one and a half but just getting just partially into the wood there 
these nails are bending like they're made out of lead or something. So I don't know. It just uh, you just I just gotta pull it out. Use a piece of wood and use the hammer. Just kind of pull them out and uh, start again. That's all, you know. It's a good thing I got a whole box of them. See, you can't even pull it out. Things in tight. Okay, after three tries, I got I got one nail in. Only took about ten minutes, and uh, got this board nailed in. Got a little deviation on the bottom between a sixteenth and an eighth, but that's okay because it's going to be a thin set and tile there. So I just got to do the rest of it. I'm sticking up a little too far here, with you know where the where the granite's going on top. So um gonna have to shave a little bit off of here really little bit like a sixteenth or something okay I got a little mock up here I kinda cut the pieces and I'm kinda fitting them in because pieces are all slightly different I'm fitting them in like the best way where they fit and that's it's actually a pretty good fit so uh... Just double check it, and then I'm gonna kind of nail everything in. But I gotta double check the measurements in between that and that and that, because when the doors go on, you know it's gonna look pretty cool. So gotta make sure it looks right. I call this the pretzel method: a hole with foot and leg and hammer. You know, I messed up again because I didn't—I don't have the doors with me because I ordered those. But see, I cut. Remember, I cut four of these. I should only cut two of those. I need two in the middle and two skinnier ones on the end. You see, because that—that that makes the frame there. So I just cut two skinny sections, which is a good thing because I had some of that wood left over. So that was actually a good thing. I didn't really waste any wood. Except that wood I didn't need, but you know, I guess that's about a foot there and a foot and a half there and a foot and a half there, so that's like three feet. So that's like probably like about heck eight bucks worth of wood. I didn't want to do that, but kind of screwed up on that. But anyway, it was good that I realized I screwed up on it.